Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory going to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors onto the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that do rule exceptionally well. And also Shalom. Citations, mercy, and blessings to you, sincere brothers that's out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. My name is Tabawa Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um I basically wanna I wanna get into um uh the light versus the darkness and really uh what i really want to uh point out is that you have people that's out there that are aware that they're israelites but they're still in darkness all right you got men that's out there that are aware that they're israelites they may even teach other men that they're israelites but they're still in darkness they're not actually coming over to the light man all right they're not actually being letting their mind be freed by the light all right. And the reason why is because, you know, truthfully, they are still of the world. They're still a, a carnal creature rather than a spiritual creature. OK, this is uh, John chapter three. I'm actually going to start at verse 18. It says he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. And you got men that's out there that may be aware that they're Israelites, but they don't even actually believe in Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son, which uh, the uh, I'm sorry, the only begotten son of the heavenly father, Yahweh. All right. Which, um, like I said, uh, Yahweh is the name of the heavenly father. And then I also mentioned Yahweh Shai, which is the name of uh, the Lord's son, our savior, the savior of the nation of Israel, his uh, our Lord and savior, man. His name is Yahweh Shai, the one who came down here. And, you know, it was Israelites themselves, specifically those of Judah, that pinned him upon the cross, man. All right. But the, we know that, you know, Israel's killed all the prophets that was ever sent to him. Either way, you have men that's out there that are not believing in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And that's going to be a staple. That's going to be something that's very detrimental. All right. That's going to be very detrimental to their uh, to their salvation because they don't actually believe in Yahweh Shai. And you got you got men out there that may even teach the name Yahweh Shai that don't believe in Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So that is going to be a very it's going to be a, it's going to be a very harsh. <laughs> it's going to be a very harsh reality for those dudes real, real, real soon, man. When Yahweh Shai actually does come back with them chariots, it says, um, and this is the condemnation. That light is coming to the world, which light came into the world with Yahweh Shai, of course. It says, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And speaking again, it says they didn't believe in the name um, of the only begotten son of Yahweh Shai, which uh, I said was is going to be detrimental to them. And that's proven in Acts. I believe it's Acts, the fourth chapter. Let's look real quick. I believe it's Acts, the fourth chapter, where it tells you that there's none other name, man. Acts chapter four snaps. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, what is that? Acts chapter four. Selakia, Selakia, Selakia. Um. Uh, is it even in the fourth chapter? Now I'm starting to wonder if I even got the correct um. The correct chapter. Let me see. Um, other name. Acts 4 and 12. Right? So it says neither. It says neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other, none other name. So I was right. Acts the fourth chapter. Acts 4 and 12. Uh, there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved so you can only the only way you're going to receive salvation is through yahweh Hashem yahweh shai man through the name of yahweh in the name of his son yahweh shai man that's the only way if you're calling on the most high you got to be calling on him through his son yahweh shai that's the only way you're going to make it man all right that's the only that's the only access code all right there is not another one like uh, like the scriptures say you got to enter in through the through the door if you climb up through the window then you're the same as a thief and a robber, roughly paraphrasing. Anyway, uh, jumping back to um, jumping back to what we was reading here in John, John the third chapter. All right, we was around the eighteenth verse or so. 
It says, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only uh, of the only begotten son of the heavenly father, which according to Acts, the fourth chapter, uh, the 12th verse, there is none other name. OK, reading on verse 19, it says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men loved darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. So we're seeing that. We're seeing physical examples of men loving darkness rather than light. And the reason why is because their deeds are evil. And I'm speaking about, uh, I'm, I'm particularly speaking uh, in this lesson about men that are aware that they're Israelites. Men that are supposed to be in the light. Really what they're doing is choosing darkness. And the reason why is because um, their, deeds are, their deeds are evil, man. All right. That's why you got guys that are uh, selling uh, breakdowns for twenty dollars, man, on, on the Internet. You got men actually out there, you know, who's who's claiming that they're servants of the Lord and they're selling the Lord's breakdowns, which they got freely, by the way. They didn't have to pay a single dime to get it, but they're they're selling that um, uh, to others for, for for a profit, man. All right. Hey, that dude, Logic, he has a song um, called Lord Willing. And in that, one of his lyrics say, the prophet doesn't do it for the prophet. Right. Meaning uh, that the, the, we're doing this service, but it's not for no worldly, uh, no worldly gain, man. It's not for a worldly um, uh, prophet. OK, it's for us to get spiritual riches, man. You know, we're doing this so we can lay our treasures in heaven. We're not doing this. So that way we can get rich over here on this side of things. <laughs> but people don't understand that, man. Like I said, there are guys that are still in darkness that think they think they're woke. They think they're enlightened, but they're they're really just in darkness, man. OK, because their deeds are evil. Verse verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And guess what? When you come into this truth, your deeds will be reproved, man. All right. You'll realize that what you're doing is wrong. The way you grew up was wrong. All right. And, and if you're sincere about this thing, if you're really, truly and honestly um, uh, uh, repentative and ready to serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, then, then you will. It will cause a mind change. It will cause about a change in behavior. All right. If you're smoking cigarettes, guess what you ain't smoking with no more? Cigarettes. All right. You ain't smoking nothing, really. You know, but... um. Yeah, you know, if you was eating pork, guess what you ain't eating no more, right? Anything that the law was against, anything that the scriptures was against, you're not you're not about that business no more, man. You know? Why? Because you realize that the light is better than the darkness. But you got some of these guys that's out here that's not that they're not trying to make that that full transition. They're trying to hold on to something which you can't you can't have a room that's that's lit up with light and also dark at the same time, man. All right. That's not going to work. That, that doesn't work with the Heavenly Father. All right. That does not work with the Heavenly Father. As it is written, you got to be hot or cold, man. You can't be lukewarm. If you're lukewarm, he's going to spew you out of his mouth. And a lot of people are going to be getting spewed, man. They're going to be the ones hollering, Lord, Lord, didn't we know you? And he's going to be saying, get away from me, you workers of iniquity. I've never knew you. Hey, man, that's good. That's going to be a, that's going to be a very heartbreaking and disappointing moment for a lot of people, man. <laughs> you know, earth shattering, life shattering moments. Uh, here to come because men don't want to they don't want to just get with the light you know which the light is this truth we're going to come to find out as we keep going on uh, anyway it says but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest meaning they ain't got nothing to hide you got a lot of these people out here with something to hide man really because they're doing something wrong you know they're doing something wrong so they got something to hide but the ones that are doing something right they're hey, they're they're shining forth as light in front of everybody so that way their deeds can be made manifest and that they are right in the heavenly father man okay they are showing to the world that they are of the heavenly father that's why uh yahweh shai said that this if it's lit if you can't be putting it under no bushel what's that uh matthew uh the fifth chapter let's go to matthew 5 um we'll go to verse 14 it says it says, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So we're supposed to be that same uh, thing, man. We're supposed to be those shining examples of men of the Lord. You know, 
shining examples of men of the Lord, of servants of Yahweh Shai. Just as Yahweh Shai was the light, Yahweh Shai even says that in John, um, I believe it's John the 8th chapter, he says that he is the light and any man that come into him. Matter of fact, why am I, why am I, I'm just going to grab it real quick. I'm going to grab it real quick. I'm trying not to make this video long. But I think it might it might run a little bit. It's already at ten minutes, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to start wrapping it up. But uh, anyway, this is John the eighth chapter. Ah man, I have no clue. Uh, John chapter eight. Um, John chapter eight verse twelve. It says, "Then Yahweh Shai again uh, spake. Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light for uh, but shall have the light of life. All right. So uh, following after Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai being that example, being the actual light, and we're supposed to be, um, we're supposed to be following in, in that example, man, and not walking in darkness. But as I said, you have men that is walking in darkness, man. Um, going back to Matthew, uh, the fifth chapter, Matthew five, where was we at? We was at verse fourteen. All right, or actually, we was at. We was at verse 15. Neither do a man light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So we're supposed to be those examples, giving light unto all that are in the house, man. That's why we go out there on the highways and the byways, and we, we, we tell the people what's going on, all right? Because we're, we're not trying to hide nothing. A light, you, you turn on the light so you can see everything, man. You don't turn the light on so that way you can, you know, turn the light on so you can go to sleep. You don't turn the light on so that way you can um, uh, hide you know, like I said, the dark is for, for trying to hide something, man. We're not children of the dark. We're children of the light as it's written, man. What's that? Let's grab some of that. Let's grab some of that first. Did I finish what I wanted in here? No, I want to read verse 16 and then we'll go uh, grab how we are the children of the light. This is um Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. And that's the point, man. It's about the glorification of, of the heavenly father. Now, these dudes that are in the darkness, they're about the glorification of themselves, man. They're they're hiding the heavenly father away from the people, man. Really, by not wanting to preach his name, by not wanting to tell the people about what the market of beast is, by not wanting to tell the people, um, <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, there's, a, there's a, who the Gentiles actually are that's being spoken of. All right. That's a big point, too. There's a lot of things in the doctrine, which really the the way you're walking in light is because you have the correct doctrine, man. All right. And Great Millstone has the correct doctrine. One hundred percent truth. One hundred percent truth. Now, that's not saying we have one hundred percent of the truth because the scriptures does say that we know in part and we prophesy in part, man. OK. So you got you got people that's out there that's simple. All right. Like we know in part and we prophesy in part. We don't have all the secrets of the heavenly father because he didn't reveal all of that unto us. All right. But what we do have is 100 percent truth. It's not mingled with any type of lie. There's not a speck of darkness in it. All right. There's not a speck of darkness in it. <laughs> Going uh, uh, continuing. Uh, that was my point for here. Matthew five. Let's grab. Uh, first Thessalonians. Let's grab first Thessalonians uh, chapter five. Um, let's see. Are we going to start at verse five? Nope. we're going to start up. It says I'm going to start at verse three for when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light. And our children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night, man. All right. So we're supposed to be we're supposed to be sober, meaning we're, we are with sound doctrine. Sound doctrine is uh, uh, the truth of, of the scriptures is the truth about what's going on. All right. The truth of the matter is the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, man. And there's there's so much evidence out there that proves that. Yet you have big groups out there that don't want to they don't want to teach that. And the reason why they don't want to teach it is because they're not in the light. Their leaders are not in the light and uh, their leaders are actually jealous of the ones that are in the light, man. All right. Didn't we read that in uh, uh, John? <laughs> Then we read that in John where uh, Yahweh Shai basically uh, said that they want to choose. They're choosing the darkness uh, because they hate the light uh, because of their evil deeds. 
yeah, man, the, the ones that's making this merchandise, selling these breakdowns, all right, they're not teaching about the market of beasts being the RFID microchip. No, they're teaching about it being an embargo, all right? You got other guys that's coming up, popping up out of nowhere with no type of, uh, no type of reputation, all right? No, no type of uh, work log, okay? And they want to pop up and say it's a spiritual thing, man. You know? Hey, there's people out there that believe that they're Israelites and yet are still in darkness. They are still in darkness because they are actually children of the night, all right? They're not following after this being a children of the light. Anyway, it says, but let us, this is verse 8, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on a, a breastplate, of faith and love and for a helmet the hope of salvation okay uh for the most high have not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our lord yahweh shai mashiach i'm gonna jump to the book of ephesians uh for a precept i'm gonna go to the book of ephesians the also the fifth chapter but i'm gonna go to verse eight okay it says uh for ye were sometimes for ye were sometimes darkness but now are ye light in the Lord, walk as children in of the light, man. So once you wake up to this truth, that's where you become a child of the light, man. Once this truth resonates with you. And if, if you're a child of the light, well, you're supposed to be walking in the light. Why are you going to be a, char a child of the darkness walking in darkness? You know, meaning meaning doing works of darkness, you know, uh, charging the people for a breakdown, charging the people to know who they are, man. Are charging the people to understand the the book that was given onto them. Come on, man. Come on. Can you can you be serious? <laughs> can you be serious? Um, I'm gonna go to uh, the book of Philippians, the second chapter. All right. Uh, so like passed it. Wasn't even paying attention. Philippians chapter two. Uh, we'll go to two and fifteen. All right. It says, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I guess we'll start, we'll start at, we'll start at verse 14. It says, do all things without murmuring and disputings that ye may be blameless and harmless. The sons of the heavenly father without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. All right. So that's, that's the example that, or that is the uh, scenario that we're in, man. Be, being that we're in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, man. But we are seeking to be blameless. We're seeking to be harmless. We're seeking to be um, without rebuke. All right. Meaning that this world can't can't rebuke us. It can't say anything against us. All right. And we're supposed to be shining uh, in this world, man. As Yahweh Shai said, if we're, if we're the, uh, the light of the world, we can't be hid. All right. You don't light that candle and put it under a bushel. All right. That's what some of these men's are, men are doing, man, especially the ones that are too afraid to go out there and teach on the highways and the byways. Hey, that their candle, they're trying to put it, you know, under the bushel, you know, rather than letting the, that light shine forth. Um, it says. Uh, uh, holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Yahweh Shai that I have. Uh, not run in vain, neither labored in vain, which we're not running our laboring in vain. And Lord willing, we are able to rejoice when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. But guess what? Those guys that, that are in darkness, that are trying to have that fellowship with the darkness, they're not going to be able to do that, man. And that's a good scripture I need to grab as well, real quick. This is um, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. It says, it says, um, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion have light with darkness, which is a very solid and valid question. What communion have light with darkness? Where do those two, where do those two meet? Where do those two, uh, uh, get along together? You know, light and darkness, where do they come and, and agree together? They don't, man. So you can't be half truth in this thing, man. That's why great mills don't have 100 percent truth, man, meaning it's all pure, you know, unsolid truth, man, <laughs> with not a speck of dirt, not a speck of darkness in it. Um, first John, uh, the first chapter of first John, chapter one, it says uh, where to start, where to start, where to start. Um. 
This is uh first John chapter one. I'm starting at verse five. It says, This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you. All right. Which again, great millstone, the message that we received is the same message that we give forth, man. All right, we'll even we'll even do the heavy the heavy lifting as far as uh, research for you, man, and encourage you to go and and uh, look it up as well, you know. But Great Millstone is known to actually go and do some research into things, man. It says this is the message that we have heard of him and declare unto you that the Most High is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. And again, men are out there lying. They're out there lying, man, and doing not the truth because they're saying that they walk with the Heavenly Father. They're saying that they walk with his his uh, his son who was set forth to be the savior of the nation of Israel. All right. They're saying that they walk with them, but really they lie and it, they're, they're not telling the truth, man. It says, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light. We have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, his son, cleanseth us from all sins. So that salvation, that salvation, and then, you know, that name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that salvation is going to come to those that are walking in the light, not to those that are walking in darkness. And a lot of you guys are really out there walking in darkness, man. Hey, but pretty much that was the point. Lord willing, this was edifying, and Lord willing, the message was received. So until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.